What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a quick look at what's new with the fifth beta of iOS 11. So it wouldn't be a new beta if we didn't get some new icons. So we get a new camera icon. It's much more simplified this time. It loses the lines from the previous generation. We also get a tweaked settings icon. We get a darker background, which I think looks much better than the previous design and falls in line with other aspects of the new UI design. Another big change happens within the control center. So if you go to the music player, we get this little indicator in the upper right corner that tells us that other devices are available on the network to broadcast using AirPlay or Bluetooth. And when you tap on this icon, this will expand out the list so you can quickly jump between those available devices. Another useful feature from the control center is screen recording. We've seen that before, but this time the recording indicator at the top edge of the screen is now red instead of blue. Next up, we get a new sound effect for FaceTime when placing a call. So let's go ahead and take a listen to that. iOS 11 really loves its splash screen explainers and we're seeing even more of them with the fifth beta. So for example, when you update your iPad, you'll get this explainer screen that tells you about the new multitasking features. And even with the camera app, if you have an iPhone 7 Plus or newer, you get the portrait mode splash screen, which explains the feature. When you open up the new health app, of course, you also get a new splash screen explaining the new features, but we also get the option to opt into health data sharing. So this allows you to explore exactly what this is or opt out. We also get some new options for background app refresh. So now if you go into settings and go to background app refresh, you can now cycle between Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular data. So if you want to restrict that to Wi-Fi, you have the option to do so right here. Now this next feature is not new with the fifth beta, but this is the first time I'm hearing about it. So I thought I'd take this moment to show you this. But basically we get a built-in level for the camera app. This works when you lay the camera flat or if you're doing a horizontal shot and the camera needs to face down and you wanna make sure that that shot is square, you get a level on the screen. Now this only happens if you turn on the camera grid, which you can do under settings. Another feature I'm not sure is new with the fifth beta, but this is the first time I'm seeing this, but when I connect this to my Mac to do a screen recording, I'm now prompted to authenticate with Touch ID. Previously, I just needed to unlock my phone to connect to my computer for those services. All right, guys, so that's going to do for me in this quick look at the fifth beta of iOS 11. Of course, there are many more changes with iOS 11, and I'll leave some of my videos linked in the description below so you can check those out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let me know, and I'll see you again in my next video.